Today's quick tip, how to care for an amputation. Have someone call 911 while you control the bleeding. The good news here is that the severed blood vessels may spasm and shrink back into the wound, so sometimes there's very little bleeding. But if there is bleeding, grab a good sterile trauma dressing, apply pressure over the wound for at least five minutes. If there was substantial blood loss, shock could be an issue, so we're gonna lie the victim down, elevate the feet six to 12 inches and cover with a blanket to keep warm. But next, what do you do about the body part? This is where the big mistakes are made. Package it up by wrapping in gauze or a clean cloth and then seal it in a baggie or waterproof container and then place it on ice. Don't make the mistake of putting severed body parts in ice without insulating them first. Direct contact will cause frostbite to the injured part and melting ice can cause tissue waterlogging and tissue softening, making reattachment difficult or even impossible. So in review, you should call 911, control the bleeding, wrap the body part, seal it in a baggie, Cool it with ice. The survival of the body part is usually a four to six hour window, but sometimes could survive up to 18 hours if done correctly.